I uh, couldn't stand it, so we, it's a lot cooler out here. I'd give her a test dry run here. And a little bit <clears throat> front heavy, so I had to lay my magnet under there. Uh, set it on a piece of half inch scrap I had around. And we just laid the top on to kind of give a visual. if this will show up or not, but we're 170, 260, inside there is 400 and some degrees. Yeah, 260. We're 300 down there, 400 down there, so we're, I guess, generating some heat. I, I bet you this backside is probably where it's the hottest. You can kind of maybe figure that out. So I... and see the see where the metal is starting to oxidize a little bit down there. About 375 degrees. That'll give me an idea where to, I guess, put my shelf. And yeah, looks like it's going to be about where I would think it would be, right, right where the L part of it there comes in. So yeah, that's why I thought if I had a like a four inch piece in there to extend that out a little bit, move the fire a little bit, uh, would be to the right there. Give a little bit more of a, a, a cooking space down there to uh, heat up a bowl of beans or keep your food warm or something. Just trying to make this about as versatile as I can. Yeah, we're up to yeah, it was up to almost 500. Anyway, I guess 400 degrees would definitely boil water. Burn pretty clean. I don't know what kind of wood that is. It was an old uh, fence post of some sort. Not a hard wood because half of them ended up rotting you about 10 years old. But, uh, yeah, I think that'll. Be nice for camping or I guess an emergency and person need to lost power he has a way to cook a meal here. Um, we got some chickens that need to butcher and I kind of thing I wonder if that thing would uh, work better than a big propane stove to heat the water up. <clears throat> That's why I think that top I need to build it I think I'm gonna Got some three eighths there, and I got some quarter inch something that'll a little more substantial. And like I said, I'm going to make it so it sets down on there, and I can take it off because uh, 
the big cooker pan will completely cover that up so that's not going to work uh, with a huge pan on there plus for uh, traveling and stuff we, uh, if that was came off uh, save a little bit of space well there's the test run and uh, we'll continue on with it later